guys, I am back for another hair video. Anyway, so I have shampooed my scalp and now what I'm going to do is just kind of, and I have conditioner on my hair now, so my hair is saturated in conditioner. And I'm just finger detangling. That's pretty much all that I'm going to do as far as my detangle. And now I'm going to go rinse this out. Put in my leave-in. And start styling my hair for the week. So I have officially washed and conditioned my hair. And now it is ready for styling. Um, so what I'm going to do first is apply my leave-in conditioner. I'm going to straighten this part up a little bit. Okay, and I'm going to apply my leave-in conditioner, which is always pretty much the same. I need to get some more because it's about empty. The uh, Tresemme Luxurious Moisture. Ooh. Oops. Um. Yeah, we're about out. We're about out of my leave-in, so I have to make myself a note to, to pick up some more. Okay, so I'm basically just going to apply a generous amount. to my hair, focusing most on my ends. And I just kind of go through and separate my hair as I'm going, just to keep it detangled. And then I think I'm just going to work from two sections today, just because it may make the process a little bit easier. And you put as little or as much um, conditioner leave in as you would like on your hair. Um, I use a lot because my hair is dry. And so it soaks up this stuff pretty quickly. And I noticed that the more I have on, the better my hair looks and feels. Okay, so now that my hair is, I have my leave-in, I'm just going to show you the two other products that I'm going to be using. Uh, the first one is this Palmer's Shea Formula. It's Raw Shea Balm. And like I told you, I list the products that I use down in the description box, so if you look down there, you'll see what I'm using anyway. But I just figure some people are visual, so I'll show you what the... Um, so, it's called Smooth and Shine Fine Botanical Oils. This is the straight. This is for straight hair. It has black seed oil and coconut oil, and it's a weightless styling gel. <laughs> so I'll put it down in the description box so that, you know, you can check it out if you'd like to. But um, those are the two products that I'll be using for styling purposes. So we're going to get started. Um, of course, I will show you a few 
of these and then I'll speed the video up or just fast forward it and let you see once I finish and then I'll come back and show you once I take it down in the morning which that video will be really quick I may not even say anything I may just show you my hair and keep it moving because <laughs> in the mornings I know I probably will not be much of a video person because I am like the slowest person with getting ready for to go anywhere that I have to be at a scheduled time and so I don't want to say that I'm going to be a person that can get up in the morning and do a video because I will probably have to get up three hours <laughs> before it's time for me to be at work to promise you something like that so to say that I can just get up and pop the camera on and show you my hair really quick or show you my takedown process I probably can do that but as far as being able to talk to you or anything like that I'm not going to promise that because I'm like a schedule person like I have my time and I'm doing 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 and if I add anything extra to that it will probably totally throw me off so <laughs> um, yeah uh, we're not going to promise that so you'll probably just get a video with the hair takedown and maybe some music playing or something like that but anywho if I don't get to say um, buy at the end or anything like that i'll go ahead and say it now um i appreciate you guys for watching i'm gonna go ahead and start on these we're doing the cur curl formers as i said just to stretch my hair um i've had these for a while and i've used them quite a few times um as my hair has gotten longer i've not used them um so this will be my first time using them since i've reached this length in my hair so yeah we're going to do those. And when I purchased them, I bought two different packs. So I have two different little applicator sticks or whatever you call them. So this is how I do mine. I go ahead and have two ready so that I can kind of flow through it pretty quickly because this is a little time consuming. And I have to go pick my daughter up today from <laughs> grandmother's house. So guess what? I'm going to be riding down the road with curl formers in my hair. I do not care, you guys. <laughs> It's a rainy day. It shouldn't be that many people out. So, yeah, I have to get myself ready for work tomorrow. So, yeah, I don't have time to play around. So, yeah, I'm getting ready to put these curl formers on in. And I hope you guys enjoy the video. If you have any questions, comments, concerns, leave them down in the description box. Um, otherwise, share the video if you find that it's useful. And um, subscribe if you've not already. Go ahead and hit that subscription button that little bell to be notified when I post um, new videos so that you guys are aware and you can tune in as soon as I post okay so I have some great videos coming up for you guys um, once again thank you thank you thank you so much for all the love and support and I will catch you guys in the next video bye <laughs>
And it took me a while to kind of, you know, get used to this process because sometimes you get the curl former too tight to the root of your hair and that is annoying. So try not to do that. But I do find that if I roll my hair a little bit at the root, it makes it easier for me to apply the hook. And then I just scooch my curl former to the top and slide my hair through. And then, like I said before, I go ahead and prep <laughs> bloopers. I go ahead and prep two more. And I can already feel that that one may be too tight on my scalp, so I'll show you guys how I loosen it up in a little bit. So then I just get another section. And it's 12 o'clock now, so 12 p.m. So I'll let you guys know how long this takes to. And so I split this in two. Add a little bit of the gel, and I just dab my finger into that styling gel. I don't want to have too much on my hair. And then grab my, well, twist. Just kind of wind your hair at the base if you need to. And then apply my hook, push my curl former up, grab my curl former, and I, as I grab it, I am squeezing it too. Just a tad, and I pull through. That's how I do my curl formers. And I didn't do a video early on when I first started using these because it, like I said, it took me a while to, um, to get comfortable with them. And so it was annoying at first. Um, the hair didn't come out how I wanted, to, wanted it to a couple of times. So, you know, these have just kind of been hanging around in my house. So I just dab my hair with the gel. I've had a couple of good, you know, uses of them. But I've also had, you know, a couple of bad ones too. So This next one I'm going to do up close and personal for you guys. And then... This will just be a skip along video. I'm not even going to fast forward it because like I said, I think you guys think my videos are probably too long, my hair videos. So, I'm just going to, you know, skip to when they're basically in. And so this one here feels a little bit tight on my scalp. So what I do to loosen it up is I just squeeze it at the top and slide it just a tad. Well, sorry. Squeeze it at the top, slide just a tab, but you need to stretch it out when you go to slide it. Sometimes. Sometimes you can just slide it, but if you feel resistance, stretch the curl former out because you don't want to pull your hair. <clears throat> okay. So this one here we'll do up close and personal, and then I'll see you guys once I'm finished. finishing up with them. Okay, so this one will probably be three different sections. So I'm going to comb through. With my wide tooth comb. Grab me a little section. the dab okay 
Now, up close, I am going to, I hope you can see, twist my base, the whole piece of hair, just twist, roll it around just once or twice. <laughs> the curl warmer. Put the hook around that piece, make sure it's in there. Push your hair to the top of the hook. Pull the push the curl former up over the hook as much as you can. Grab the bottom of your stick. Put your hand at the top of the curl former. Pinch it a little bit. Pull your hair through. And that's it. really quick here dab of gel twist my hair a little bit at the base curl former onto that piece push the curl the hair to the top of the hook Push the curl former to the top of the hoop. Pinch the curl former. Grab the bottom of the stick and pull your hair through while keeping this pinched at the top. That's it. All right. <laughs> Okay, so I am back, and I have completed all of my curl formers, and so now, because I did tell you guys, I, for one, I have to go pick my daughter up, so, <laughs> and she called, like, right when I started finishing up, so, it is what it is, I mean, heck, people, I'm not getting out the car or anything, but they'll get over it. I believe I've rid, rode in the car before with uh, these in my hair because I had to run out or something one time before I had did these. So, I mean, oh, well, it is what it is. Uh, <laughs> so, um, anywho, what I'm going to do now is just uh, show you guys how I kind of position these uh, curl formers so that I'm able to go to sleep and um, do things I need to do without them, you know, getting in the way of your visual feel, you see. So, I got this little hack from um, Natural85, which is who I have watched, like, through my natural hair journey, who has helped me and guided me. So, shout out to you, Natural. No, you're not watching this, but, um, anywho, I've sent so many people <laughs> to her over the years, and, um, yeah, she really, um, inspired me and helped me to learn about my natural hair in the beginning so um, yes that is the one the uh, one of the natural hair gurus that I definitely have watched uh, most religiously over my uh, natural hair journey so um, yes so yeah I got this tip from her so I keep my little container of rubber bands um, and what I do is just take my bands and grab a few and pull them together out of my way <laughs> and this helps so so much um, you just have to be really careful because of course the rubber band is really small so it will pop but yeah this this was like so helpful with getting me um, to where I could function with these things in my hair. Ah. So yeah, you just want to get them inside of the rubber band. The best way you can. 
It usually goes a little smoother than this, but I think because I'm rushing now. <laughs> um, okay, yeah. Okay, and so that's how I kind of bind them together, and I'll just leave the rest hanging. But it's mainly the ones in your face that will kind of get annoying if you don't do something with them. And then lastly, this is my little hair oil mixture, and I just oil my scalp the best I can. And this just helps me because, like I said, my hair is really dry, and so this just helps to add a little extra moisture to my hair and gets me started off good for the week. Keeps my hair from my scalp from feeling dry and itchy. So, yep, that's what I do. And that's it. So I will sleep in these and take these out in the morning. And that'll be it. <laughs> so, anywho, hope you guys, like I said, enjoyed the video. And I'll see you.